All right, hey everyone. Just making a video on how to properly flash the CyanogenMod Mod 7 Alpha 4 ROM on your Samsung Epic. Uh, this is obviously an alpha version. It's not a fully stable ROM yet. Um, there's a lot of things not working, such as GPS camera, MMS, Bluetooth in call, and 4G. None of those are working, um, but it's it's coming along great. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how to properly flash it. What you're first going to want to do is click on the link in the description. Uh, it's going to take you to this XDA developer's website up there, and you will see ROM Cyan Cyanogen Mod 7 Alpha 4. Uh, scroll down, you get some information on the on the ROM, letting you know what does and doesn't work. Uh, downloads are right there. Um, you'll want to download both. I do. I download both. Um, the ROMs right here. SM7 Alpha 4, that's the ROM, and then Google Apps, that's going to give you market, uh, maps, things like that. So I download both of them. After you download both of them, you're, they're both zip files. You're going to want to click and drag them both to your SD card. So mount your phone, uh, click and drag the zip files onto your SD card. So after you have those put on your SD card, what you're going to want to do is go to your phone. I'm running... Uh, Syndicate Frozen ROM 1.1.0. Show you that real quick under build number SRF 1.1.0. So I'm running Syndicate ROM. What you're going to want to do to flash this ROM is to shut your phone off. So after your phone shuts off, what you're going to need to do is boot into Clockwork, press the volume down button, camera button, and power button all at the same time. This should be booting into clockwork then. Um, to flash this ROM, what you're going to need to do is hit wipe data, factory reset, and wipe the data, all that. And you're going to want to do this three times just to be sure that all data is completely wiped. And then after your data is wiped, you're going to want to wipe cache partition. And you're going to also want to do this three times as well. And after that, you are going to want to go to Advanced and then click on Wipe Dalvik Cache. And then, you guessed it, do that three times as well. So after you do that, you're going to want to go back to the home screen and click on install zip from SD card. I don't know if I mentioned to navigate through clockwork you use the volume up and down arrow volume up and down keys and camera button to select. You're gonna to want to go to install from install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then go to wherever you put your CyanogenMod Mod 7 Alpha 4 zip file in your Google Apps file. So navigate to that should be CM7 Epic 4G Alpha 4 zip and hit yes, install that. So that should go through the install process of the ROM. Okay, so it should say install from SD card complete. After this, to get your Google Apps, uh, what I usually do is I'll wipe cache, wipe cache partition. I'll do that two times and then I'll wipe Dalvik cache. Wipe that two times, just just to make sure everything's all wiped and ready to go. And then just before, just, I'll just do that just before I install the G apps zip. So then I'm gonna go to go to install zip from SD card, choose zip, and then I go to G apps GB Epic dot zip, and then hit yes, install that. That should install your Google apps then on your phone. Install from SD card complete. Hit go back and hit reboot system now. My guess is the first reboot is going to take a little while just because it's got to take some time to set in. So be patient with the first boot up. If it doesn't properly boot up the first time, I'd recommend going back into clockwork, wiping data, cache, Dalvik all three times again, and then reflashing the ROM. If that doesn't work, maybe you have a bad download or something. Redownload it and re put it on your SD card and see how that goes. So I'm going to let this boot up and just kind of give you guys a quick uh, run through of the Alpha 4. Just 
keep in mind that you're not going to have GPS, camera, picture, video messaging, in-call Bluetooth or 4G. This is still an alpha state. Hopefully they get some of these working soon. They've done a great job so far. All the developers with the Cyanogen Mod 7 team for the Epic. So basically what you want to do is click on the Android, sign in. Slide keyboard. I'm going to sign into my Gmail account real quick. Okay, and it goes to choose apps to install. Uh, this is pretty cool setup. I'm going to just kind of go run through and click on some apps to install. Um, just click on a couple and then hit OK. So it should take you to market and then you're going to want to hit accept. Okay, so you're going to want to hit next and next. It should uh, ask you to if you want to back up and restore your Google account. Uh, backs up your apps and things so I, I just hit yes and hit next again let it run through the process okay so now that's done syncing my account you're going to hit finish setup and it should take you to the home screen so now you are now running Cyanogen Mod 7 Alpha 4 on your Epic just a reminder this is still an Alpha 4 state so they're will be bugs involved um, just kinda a quick run through you got some cool look at the, if you look at the bottom it lights up after it run if it once it hits the top and bottom of the screen something I am looking forward to is the shut off animation so press the power button to lock your screen wow that is awesome uh, I know it's purely cosmetic but that is really cool so you press the power button to lock the screen and it it's like a old style TV shut off. You got your lo rotary lock screen. If you go to settings um, about phone, you're gonna see it's mod version sign engine mod 7.0.0. Uh, so now you know you're running that. Um, you're gonna have different. You got different sign engine mod settings. Go through those. You can change lock screen. Uh, do just change a bunch of different stuff having to do with it. I would recommend just looking through all of them. Um, they got some awesome things that you can tweak. So yeah, that is how you properly flash Signage in Mod 7 Alpha 4 for your Samsung Epic 4G. If you do have any questions, just go ahead and uh, leave a comment on the video. Send me a message. I'll be happy to help. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future uh, videos, let me know. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you guys out.